All right, so I'm back, and uh, today I'm going to go through a basic trigger tutorial, which is mostly going to be for you non-programmers out there, but perhaps some programmers can learn some basics or some new things about the uh, Galaxy Editor here. Um, I'm going to cover the basics you need to make your own triggers and so on, and we're going to go through a few things that can be useful to know. So I created a new map and I've opened the trigger editor and when you first open the trigger editor this is what you will see for any new map you've created. The first thing you usually want to do if you're making a custom map is to remove all these conditions here. Uh, they what's setting it up to be a melee map and since you want a custom map uh, we're gonna remove them so, uh, for a basic trigger, if you make a new one here on the left side with new element, a trigger, you have four things you can set up here. The first one is events, and if we go to new element here, events are decides when this trigger should be run. It's quite simple, it's in plain English here, so you can make it run when a unit dies or a unit is attacked or whatever. Just scroll through here, unit is clicked, for instance. Let's make this one run when a unit is attacked. It will also have a short description here. Usually some useful hints, like here you can see you can use triggering unit to refer to the unit that's being attacked, and attacking unit to refer to the unit that's performing the attack. Okay. Uh, second one, local variables. If you need to store some extra data in your trigger while it's running, this anything you store in these variables will be gone once the trigger is done running. Conditions. Here you can set up extra conditions for this event. So in this case, we could set up that it should only run if the owner of the unit here, owner of unit, and which unit? The um, triggering unit, once again, is the unit that is being attacked or we could set it to attacking unit, the unit that is doing the attack. If that belongs to player one, number one here, then this trigger should run. So then we could add the um, actions here, what it should do. And now let's go over the basic structures of programming that you will use a lot. We will start with if. If then, if we type if then here, we will get these two up. If then else multiple or if then else. Let's just start with the if then else. And you will see it looks very similar to what you see up here. It has a condition part and it has two action parts. So you can, in the condition part, here, you can just like up there, uh, up here, you can add what conditions this should run under. So here we could add, for instance, type of unit, unit type here, of the triggering unit, the unit being attacked, equals, and here we can pick a unit, so let's say a marine. You'll see three marines because there's some changeling and a marine with shield, so we'll just take normal marine. Okay, so if um, the tr unit type of the triggering unit is a marine, when this returns true, as in that this the unit is marine, then it will run whatever is in the then section here. If this returns false, then it will run whatever is in the else section down here. So here we could write a text message, text message, you attacked a marine. And here we can just copy this one down here and change the message, you did not attack a marine. And that's the, oops, uh, very basic of the if then condition. So it will come in here when player one attacks any unit and if it attacks a marine it will say you attack the marine 
if the unit that is attacked is not a marine, then we'll say you did not attack a marine. So we'll go in here for player one. We will add a battle cruiser <laughs> or two, and then for player two, we'll add some marines. Oops, not battle cruisers. Some marines down here. And then we will add some salads over here. Our map is a bit small, so not much space. Gonna drag these two a bit up so we don't attack them right away. And then we can try it by just running the game. Sadly, I can't get my entire game window in here, so you'll see it's a bit cut at the top, but it should be alright. So it's going to take a while to launch. So if we can... Okay, we can select our battle cruisers. <laughs> That's a problem. If you have this problem, we can go back in here and we can go to map, map bounds here. Check modify map bounds and we just increase the map size a little bit. Okay, yes, and you will notice in the terrain editor that our map is suddenly a lot bigger. And we try again. Alright, so we're going to take one battle cruiser and we're going to attack some marines. And you will see that every time it shoots, it says you attack the marine. And now we'll attack some salads. And yeah. So we see that it works. And going back into the triggers, here you can add additional conditions. There's no limit to how many conditions you can have. So you could, for instance, Add owner of unit, triggering unit is player 2 or 3. Now both of these have to be true for it to go in here. If either of these are false, if the owner of unit is player 4, even though it's a marine, it will still go here. If you wanted to go into the first one, if any of these are true, you're going to have to add an OR up here, okay? And then you'll have to put all your OR conditions in here, into the OR. Then if either uh, it's player 3 that's being attacked, or we are attacking a Marine, it will go into here and say, you attacked a Marine or player 3. And here, you did not attack a Marine, or play player tree. So if we go into the editor and we add some units for player tree as well, they could be marines. We add them over here. Start the game again. And we will see that if I attack player tree, oh, I should have added some salads. Um, my bad going to go into the terrain editor here, because it's better to not have marines. There we go. You can actually just launch it again without closing down StarCraft and it will load a bit faster. But this can create a lot of bugs in your map. So if you have some weird things happening, try to shut StarCraft down completely and restart it. So now you'll see even if I attack the salads, it will say that I attacked... Let's turn off my sound in StarCraft. I attacked a marine or a player tree. And attacking a marine still work. It will still say I attacked a marine. And if I attack the salads here... Oops, now this was a cruiser shooting as well. It will say I did not attack a marine. So like this, you can set up... Um, Avant structures where you check what's happening and then if something is happening then you will do